Hey there. This is Brick Lane up ahead. I just recorded another video walking through the Brick Lane Sunday Market here, down that way. But I originally came here looking for the Shoreditch neighborhood, which is nearby. And it is this way, so I'm going to get off of Brick Lane here and head down Sclater Street. I think the uh, Shoreditch Street might actually be the one that's that's over that way. But this looked uh, pretty interesting to walk down. I don't know what these are referring to, Tucker Soft? It's like Star Wars-ish, but something else, Bandersnatch. And so it is December 30th, 2019, in two days. I will be here for New Year's tomorrow night. And then leaving the uh, day after that, flying out of the UK. Been here in London for, this is my fourth day, exploring this incredible and fascinating city. And as you can see, it's kind of starting to get dark now. I'm not sure of the exact time, but it's like three something in the afternoon. The days are short because it is winter, of course. Sclater Street, 66. And a little bit of a sprinkle coming down here. Not sure what the uh, like weather is supposed to do. If it's gonna start raining harder or what, but it is a little uh, breezy and definitely chilly, but not uh, that cold for end of December. I would have expected it to be uh, even colder. It looks like they're kind of wrapping things up. Maybe this part of the market is kind of over or something. All right, well, this was a, a good choice. I hadn't been down here yet. And this is definitely an interesting part of town. So I'm not exactly sure if I'm like in the shortage neighborhood now or what. Yeah, so there was something else going on here earlier, obviously, because there's like tons of garbage and food scraps and stuff around. So there must have been like kind of a separate market down here earlier or something like that. Wow, and this has a lot of graffiti inside here. Or street art, I should say. Well, some of it's street art, some of it's just crappy graffiti <laughs> okay well shortish high street overground as opposed to the underground let's uh, go check out this street art on the other side of the street up close So I'm definitely in the shortage area, shortage printers.
But my uh, Google Maps was actually directing me one block further up that way. And so I'm curious to see what uh, that is like up there. So I will continue this video, hang a right up ahead. Dirty Burger. Merry Xmas. Christmas is over. Looking forward to 2019. And so I'm flying to another country in two days, a country that I've been to before, once before. Only going there for four days. It is within Europe. And then back to the US. Finishing up my four and a half month trip around Europe. All right, well, uh, this isn't looking quite as interesting up here as that street right there. So that was a uh, lucky thing walking down there. Red Church Street. But I'm not sure which uh, street I'm on going this way. Shoreditch High Street, Hoxton. So that is the other neighborhood that had been uh, suggested to check out. But I'll keep on cruising up to this other uh, intersection up ahead. Definitely starting to uh, get a little bit chillier with the evening getting darker I'm glad that I made it over to this part of town because uh, my other videos were more in the tourist area over by uh, Westminster Abbey and the Tower Bridge and the River Thames and everything which is all amazing as well but that is just one uh, side of London and the touristy side. And so that was cool to get a, a little glimpse of the edgier alternative culture here. Because of course London is a uh, real important uh, place for alternative culture, punk music and Actually, a lot of my uh, favorite music is British. I'm a huge fan of the shoegazing uh, genre of music. My favorite band is called Curve, and they're from London. Tony Halliday and Dean Garcia. Check them out if you want to uh, see one of their songs. Curve. Coming Up Roses. If you just search for like Curve on YouTube, then lots of other random stuff comes up. But uh, Curve, Coming Up Roses, or Hung Up is a good song. The Color Hurts. I don't know why The Color Hurts, but that is a seriously epic tune. And I think uh, going to wrap up this video because this area just is not quite as happening as over on uh, Brick Street, Brick Lane.
thanks for watching and uh, one more day in London.